Okay, so on HVAC, my last video we talked about taking vitals, right? So in HVAC, there are five different types of calls you may run. One is a repair call. That means something's broken. Usually in our industry, that means uh, it's not heating or not cooling. Usually. Now, it could be like a humidifier not working, possibly. It could be a boiler. It could be a mini split. Um, things like that, okay? Install. So this might be... Now, install and in HVAC usually means somebody wants a price on a new air conditioner, furnace, or boiler and we would send out a field supervisor to those. But you might go out there because a customer is just interested in UV lights or, or a humidifier or a dehumidifier or, or something like that. So you could go on some type of install calls. Call back, that means we've been there before we did something and it's still not working. A tune-up or a maintenance call, we're there to again make sure it's safe, reliable, and energy efficient. We never go there to do a tune-up. We go there to make sure the system is safe, reliable, and energy efficient. And a duct cleaning estimate. The customer might want to get an estimate to clean all their duct work. So those are generally all the reasons we go out to a house. Every time we step foot into a place that has duct work, so um, everything excluding boilers, mini splits, um, those are probably really the only two reasons that we wouldn't have any duct work. We are going to take uh, the same vitals every single time. So pretty much every time you run into a, a furnace, an air handler, and an air conditioner or a, or a um, central air conditioning or central air system, we're going to be taking our external static pressure so we need to find the nameplate rating of the furnace, of the air handler, and it should say somewhere on the unit what the max static pressure is. Usually it's uh, point, uh, 0.5 inches of water column or 0.8 inches of water column. And um, at this point in your career or at the company you're at, you probably have already been through your technical training and you should already know what this all is. Um, but that is what we're taking. We're finding out what the static pressure rating of the, the max static pressure rating of the unit is. And we're finding out the, um, what the actual static pressure is. Now keep in mind, because some guys uh, like to judge how broken it is. Okay? So... If the max static pressure is 0.5 and it's 0.51, the system is broken. It's maximum 0.5. Not that if it's close to 0.5, it's maximum 0.5. So anything over 0.5, the system is broken. It's wrong. It was not engineered to run in this type of environment. So we get phone calls from guys saying, well, you know, eh, it's, it's close, it's 0.52. No, it's not close, it's broken, okay? It's 0.52, the max static is 0.5. So we have to literally draw a line in the sand and say anything over 0.5, the system is broken, okay? So we're going to take that me measurement. That's one of our vitals. That's like when we get our blood pressure test at the doctor when we go there. So there's that. Then if it's summer... We're also going to get our superheat subcool numbers. And we're also going to, if it's summer and if it's, if it's winter, like a furnace, we're going to do an ORSAT test to see what our, um, our parts per million is for exhaust. So those are the vitals we're going to do. We're going to do that in our evaluation. Okay? So, on a repair call, install, callback, tune-up, duct cleaning, every single time, you're going to get that, those vitals. And within 30 minutes, my pen's going out here, but within 30 minutes of arrival, you're going to call that information in, or you're going to text it in the drip campaign, 
to your sales manager or your call-by-call -call dispatcher. This is crucial information because we need to know if the system is broken as soon as possible. And here's an example. So let's say we have five technicians out driving around town and they're all running these types of calls. If one of the pieces of equipment that one of the technicians is working on is at a 0.8 static and the system is rated at 0.5 and that piece of equipment is not cooling at all and it's 16 years old, uh, we want to get a field supervisor out to that house as soon as possible. But if you're the person on that call and you called in at 40 minutes, right? You called in at 40 minutes and one of your coworkers called in at 30 minutes, we've already might have dispatched that field supervisor to this call, this other call, which might not be as old. It might be actually cooling. Um, and the static pressure might not be near as high, but you didn't call it in quick enough. So we already sent the field supervisor out there. The sales manager's job is to get the field supervisors to the most, um, most I guess, lucrative or, or most the job with the most urgency as soon as possible. But if you don't call in your vitals, that sales manager is not going to know this information, right? He's not going to know. So you got to call that one with 30 minutes of arrival, okay? So 30 minutes of arrival, you need to call in these vials. And you've arrived at the home, you've walked up, you've rolled out your red carpet, you've built rapport, you've asked your thermostat questions, you went through your book of evidence, you, you went through your straightforward price guide, and, and now you're in your evaluation. You should be able to do that most of the time within 30 minutes, all right? So that's what we do on every time we see a ducted system in HVAC. And based off that information, your sales manager will tell you what the next step is. And even if you're not on a ducted system, let's say you're there for a boiler or a mini split, or you're there for a humidifier, a dehumidifier estimate, right? You're still going to call in within 30 minutes. Even if you can't take your superheat subcool, your ORSAT, or your um, static pressure, you're still going to call in within 30 minutes every single time. Or it might be a text message drip campaign that you'll answer these questions. But you're going to do this all in your evaluation. So that's what we do on HVAC calls. Now also, you should always be able to do either a superheat subcool, even on a mini split. And you should always be able to do an ORSAT test, even if it's a boiler. So there's still statistics or vitals we need to get and call in even if it's not a ducted system. I just talk highly about static pressure because it's so crucial in our industry. And um, that's just one of the vitals like, um, like, like uh, blood pressure, right, as a doctor. So that's what we do for HVAC during our evaluation process.